Hi, welcome to our channel Czech Globe. Today we'll talk about the effects of climate change throughout the world. Let's begin. When we imagine that somebody has heard about climate change and realizes that it's an important topic, when, where this person can find more information on it or like they really want to do something but they don't know what. So could you recommend maybe something? No, I, I, I really think that it's the, this level of this information, level of the knowledge and the transport or transfer this knowledge to society is really increasing. It's true when I am comparing the situation five, ten years ago, it's practically in, impossible to compare. It means that in general, the level of our information, when you, when you will visit the children in the school, maybe that you will be surprised how many information the children have. But the problem is the transport to the daily life. And second problem is, again, it's a very big part of our civilization which is not informed. In the, in, in the developing developing world. It means that extremely important is this education, information, to inform the people you now today. For example, now the situation in India, this was the uh, uh, extremely uh, high temperature, 46, 47, it's practically impossible to nothing. It's really so dangerous, you know, and they are the poor people which are surviving it. And they have no any, any information, any power to, to, to change something. It's our responsibility, responsibility of developed world, responsibility of Europe. Because in principle, who was introducing the Industrial Revolution? We, here in Europe. Who was uh, transporting this, some technologies? To the China, to the, to, because here it's necessary to keep the clean atmosphere. We. Oui. It means that in this way, I don't agree with the, with something. No, yeah, Europe is now, now trying to be active, but the participation of Europe to the global is, I know, a couple of 10%, 5%. It's not true. We are responsible because we was in, in, introducing it. It means that we as, a, as European citizens have a very high level of our responsibility in this way, in this environment. If we're talking about natural world and natural ecosystems, how does global change affect this part of the planet? Unfortunately, still we have mainly data about the destroying effect of our civilization. I cannot speak about the Amazonia forest because we know it very well, how tragic it is. But everywhere, you know, for example, when you are here, sometimes when I'm moving somewhere, I see how on the agriculture soil they are constructing some new buildings, some, some storage for the shops, etc. That agriculture soil is principle for us. And we are, okay, we will uh, construct here some airport or something. It's really very, very dangerous. Yeah. And, and we are very well informed. It's true that now, for example, very often we are invited for the meetings with the architects, with the landscape plan, people which are preparing the landscape plan development. Very often I, I, I take in lectures in the bank, to be really informed. It means that slowly but successful, I can give you some evidences about so-called greening of our society. But of course, it's very slowly because it's a little bit affective your and my personal life. You, know? you mentioned the negative effects of climate change on the natural environment. Do you think those effects are the same everywhere or is it worse somewhere, better in some other places. I know, what do, what do you mean? That's, of course, it's possible to say, okay, when in North part of the, of the globe, it will be warmer, it will be better for the agriculture, etc. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's uh, very complicated because the, the system of the planet here is so interconnected. Nobody now, when the environmental weather, climate, a north part of the Siberia will change. It will be really improving. 
For, for, what example, what about the permafrost uh, development in the future? Big evolution of methane. It will be catastrophic. It means that it's really very complicated to, to say that, okay, if, but because it's really interconnected where. For example, the agriculture here in Europe, very well developed agriculture. But now we are, we are seeing that we have a problem. What about the ability of the current agriculture to be big storage of carbon? Yeah. And I, oh God, our style of agriculture is effective from the point of view of the yield, but it's not very effective from the point of view to be storage for the carbon. It means, what, and what about the role of the agriculture? Of course, the food, but what about this, this climate role? It means that, that it's really very complicated and in principle, I am not sure that I am able to say you some positive effect of the current global changes. I still think that it's really dangerous, that it's still the source of the potential problems I cannot tell you that, 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 that I, 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 I see some, some profit for us.